Capricorn, what is going on with you? Come on in, have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. My name's Alan Hill from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Capricorn love reading. In today's Capricorn reading, we are... Whoa, hey, looks like we're getting started early. We're going to take a look at the status of the love connection between you and your romantic person of interest here at the end of January 2024. I'm going to do that by getting one card to represent the mutual point of interest between the two of you here in January, or the end of it, I should say. Then I'm going to get three cards to represent your energy in this connection, Capricorn. Three cards to represent your person's energy in this connection. And then I'm going to clarify everything with the second deck. Just to make sure we can get down to the bottom of the unknown truth about what's really going on in this love connection of yours. So let's get started. Let's get one card for what is the mutual point of interest between Capricorn and their romantic person of interest here at the end of January 2024, please. Okay, we're taking more than one, it would appear. I don't know why I expected anything different to happen. It's been the way it's been going. So let's get three cards for you, Capricorn. What is going on with you? What's going on with Capricorn as it relates to their romantic person of... No, 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 no. I'm not taking this. This happened in the last reading I just did earlier today, too. I'm, I'm not taking it. I'm putting it right back in. And if any of it's supposed to come out, it will. What is going on with Capricorn as it relates to their romantic person of interest and the connection between the two of them here at the end of January 2024? Let's get three cards only, please. Like, there's a lot going on for you. It's like, it feels like all this shit's trying to get away from me all at once here again. I don't read reversals, so whenever they come out upside down, I just automatically turn them right side up. I usually don't think about it, but I noticed it that time. Both of those were upside down. Having all this like explosion happening, it feels like everything's trying to get away. Now I got two cards come out in reverse when I don't read reversals. Let's get one more, please. Okay. going on with your person Capricorn what's going on with Capricorn's romantic person of interest as it relates to Capricorn and the connection between them here at the end of January 2024 please seems to have calmed down significantly now that I've gotten over here let's get one more please what's going on with Capricorn's person very interesting that both of your last cards did that same thing flipped over right in front of me bottom of the deck the overall energy of this reading is the five of wands this is leo energy fives are about conflict or change this would be a conflict in the desires like an internal conflict in other words like a, a piece of you wants this one thing and another piece of you wants some other thing and you can't have them both and it's like now i'm torn between what is it that i really want it's like that internal like tug of war match between what you want because this is energy that is probably affecting both of you in some way here this could be an internal conflict between the two of you where you want one thing capricorn they want something different and you're pulling against each other it could be that your person has an internal conflict and that's messing with you somehow messing with the connection somehow Damn, right behind that five of wands, we have another five. More conflict and change. This in the physical world, the five of pentacles is Taurus energy. This is abandonment. It's being cast aside. It's being left out in the cold. This is usually a breakup kind of an energy. Could be torn between breaking up. Could be internally conflicted because there was an abandonment, some kind of a breakup. There could be some abandonment issues underlying something and that causes an internal conflict somewhere. Eight of Wands is Sagittarius energy. This is the second fastest moving energy in the deck. This is about like rushing, like super fast forward movement, forward progress on something, like making progress on something there's passion and desire to. That this could be rapid back and forth passionate communications this could represent travel here we could have had someone like just abandon everything and get the hell out real fast as this could be like 
a lot happening at once, like a lot of energy coming at you all at one time. It would be like trying to take a drink of water out of a fire hose. It'll, it's just too much to handle all at once. So it would be like a very overwhelming feeling. Ugh. We'll probably have to come back to this a little bit more as we go through this reading. That's kind of like the aerial view, the gist of what it looks like this is going to talk to me about. This mutual point of interest is shared energy that affects both of you in some way. It doesn't always affect you both exactly the same way. Sometimes they do this and you feel the consequences of it. Sometimes they say or do something and it makes you feel this way or vice versa. Sometimes it's legitimately external stuff that's happening that's affecting you both. Normally, I get one card here, and I had an explosion with three all at once here. So we got the Knight of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. This is a fire sign energy. This, this is a fast-moving energy, too. This is like rushing forward and taking some rapid, passionate action on something there's passion and desire for. This is also sometimes called the player of the tarot deck. It can be someone who's kind of wishy-washy, who's in and out and back and forth and doesn't stay fully committed to what they say they want. This could be a player in the sense of it could be someone who's rushing in and telling you everything you want to hear in order to get what they want. And then they rush out somewhere else all passionately and do the same bit there and get what they want two different places. It could be we're torn between two different people here. This could be someone who you had a breakup with and now there's second thoughts about that and now i'm no longer fully committed to this abandoning thing that happened here this is just a lot happening at once could be any of that kind of stuff three of pentacles is capricorn energy this is supposed to be teamwork and collaboration and working together as equals to build something of value the thing that you would typically build together here is the Ten of Pentacles, which is maximum stability and abundance and prosperity. It's like that happy, stable home life that we all want. It's like combining together of two people and all their assets and resources. This would be like working together as equals, like the laying the foundations of getting to something like that. But in a normal tarot deck, there's three people on the card working together. Here, there's only one person on this card, which means usually that there's this thing that we're supposed to be doing together but one of us is doing it all by themselves or one of us is off building their own thing could be being a player in that sense <clears throat> could be hey you said you were committed to this and now i'm doing it all by myself and now i'm torn about whether or not to break up here eight of pentacles this is virgo energy <clears throat> excuse me this is a card of work it's putting in the work putting in the time, effort, and energy on something, or at the least being willing to put in that work, time, effort, and energy. This is supposed to be like doing that together here, and it doesn't feel like that. I'm going to clarify this and see what else I can find out for you, Capricorn. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Why is that the mutual point of interest between Capricorn and their person? Thank you. <clears throat> bottom of the deck knight of swords again knights are action takers this is the fastest knight in the deck this knight of wands that's part of this shared energy is the second fastest the two energies faster than those would be the eight of wands that we just saw here and then the fastest of all is the chariot which i don't have yet so i do have a lot of fast moving energy involved here this is rushing forward and speaking the truth on something, it can be rushing forward and taking some rapid, very decisive action on something. If that's the case, this is usually someone who doesn't think things through first. This would be like spontaneous energy or impulsive energy. Just like, boom, coming in like a bat out of hell. I do whatever it is that I'm doing and then I leave and I don't think about it until after I've already done all of that. nine of cups behind that this is pisces energy this is happiness and wish fulfillment this is like personal happiness and wish fulfillment it's a step backwards from the ten of cups which is most people's goal in terms of love and relationships that happily ever after the happy fairy tale love connection that we all want this is a step backwards from that this is about being happy single like 
my own personal happiness. I have that. I don't need this external person to make me feel happy or to make me feel loved because I am already happy with myself. I already love myself. So it's like that single type energy that can go the wrong direction. Sometimes this Knight of Swords gets labeled the narcissist card. I've got it. I don't like using those kind of terms with this, but if we are, we got the player and the narcissist both here. And someone, if this is a narcissistic energy, it could be someone whose own personal happiness and wish fulfillment is the most important thing to them. Not saying that's the case, but I also can't rule that out at this point. Yeah, we got that Knight of Wands right behind that again, which is wishy-washy bullshit kind of an energy. It's like, it's non-committal in the sense of I say I want something and I'm really gung-ho about it and I'm really passionate and driven about it and taking all this action on it and then something changes with that and I pull back and I go a different direction suddenly. Which again fits in line with this overall energy of this I'm internally conflicted about what it is that I want. Now, sometimes that five of pentacles can mean abandonment and breakup. Sometimes it can mean feeling like I'm not good enough. Feeling like I'm overwhelmed here. Maybe this is like, maybe this is saying I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if like I have the ability to put in the work and, and make something happen here. I'm not sure. When I clarify this mess, oh hey, about to knock the microphone over. When I clarify this mess, I get the Page of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Pages are messengers, so they represent news and messages and communications. This one about passion and desire. This is the minor arcana version of the fool. When the fool is about like taking that blind leap of faith. Like I don't need to know how this is going to work. I'm just going to jump off the cliff and I'll worry about growing wings on my way down. Well, this is a, a more toned down version of that. This is more someone who's got the willingness to take the very first steps down a brand new path towards something they have passion and desire for. The page is also the lowest of the court cards. It's the least developed. It's not fully mature, not fully developed energy. So this would be like beginning stages of something where it's like I'm talking about it and talking about it makes me like passionate about it. And then maybe I get myself all gung ho and I move really quickly on something. But there's some sort of second. Yes, yeah, like I move really quickly on it because I think this is personal happiness and it's what I want. And then I, I I'm still like uh, wishy washy a little bit. Nine of swords, fear, worry, anxiety thinking about something a lot with fear and worry behind the thinking and doing that to the point that it becomes physically stressful, mentally stressful. This is like mental anguish. <clears throat> the next clarifier we have is that Knight of Pentacles. This is the slowest moving knight in the deck. So I've got the two fastest knights and the slowest knight all right here together in the same little bit of the story. Very sharp contrast there. This is like molasses this is the snail's pace like the story the tortoise and the hare this damn sure ain't the hare this is the tortoise this would be like very slow progress on something very slow forward movement this would be like i want something like right now but it's like it's taken forever i like wanted it yesterday and it seems like it's not coming it's like it's not moving at all it is moving it's just so damn slow you may not be able to tell from where you sit another thing that it could mean especially since it's lined up right below this three of pentacles which should be teamwork should be the two of you working together to build something but there's one person working here by themselves one person putting in all the work this would be a person who knows what they're supposed to do, but just doesn't do it. He's got the Ace of Pentacles in his hand. That's the seed of abundance. He knows he has it. He's looking right at it. He's touching it, but the fields behind him are empty because he hasn't gotten up off of his ass and planted the seed yet. He knows he's supposed to. He just hasn't. Just like it's like, I know I'm supposed to be helping you build this together and like actually work on it too, but I'm, I'm not. Four of Wands is the final clarifier. This is Aries energy. Fours are about stability. This is usually like stability of the home life, stability of the family life, stability of the connection between the two of you. If that's the case, it's like we started out willing to do this 
and then now it's like grinding to a halt here. It's not actually stopped, it's just slow getting there, like frustratingly slow. This is also the, the four wands represent 1111, which is the number of manifesting. So this is like a celebration card of like the thing that I've manifested and the thing I've been trying to get and that I want really bad is like I'm not waiting on it anymore. It's actually here. But it, this feels like it's taking forever for it to get here. And there's all this work that it looks like one of you is putting in while the other one's not fully committed in the same way. That's the shared energy that affects both of you here at the end of January 2024, Capricorn. Let's take a look at your energy in this connection. The first card is always the most important card for a person. Your first card is the Nine of Pentacles. Your central energy is the world. And your final card is the Queen of Cups. Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy, just like that Nine of Cups that we saw here in the story on the bottom of the deck. This is also a singles energy. This is single in the physical sense. It's a step backwards from the Ten of Pentacles. We've alluded to like working together as equals to build that here, but only one person actually doing the work. This would be a step back from that combined together, building a life together Ten of Pentacles. This is independence. This is like self-sufficient. This is like... I, I don't need an external person to physically or financially take care of me. This doesn't necessarily mean that you want to be single. It just represents that you probably are single right now. At least in the physical sense of things, that would imply to me that you're not physically together right now. So let me clarify that for you. Why is the Nine of Pentacles the first card for Capricorn, please? Let's skip one more on there. Okay, let's take three more on that then. Why don't we? That sounds great. <clears throat> bottom of the deck justice libra major arcana energy here this is the most powerful card of balance in the tarot deck it's about doing the right fair just thing the sword on the card is used to sever something that's not in balance so balance gets restored and then the right fair just thing can happen the fact that it's here is implying that something unfair has occurred that needs severed, you know, like the, the wrong to be righted, like the, something out of balance is happening that needs cut away so balance can be restored. And there's that sword again, same sword that's in that card. This is the Ace of Swords. This is the Sword of Truth. It's the Sword of Victory. It's the Sword of Clarity. It's the sword you would use to cut something away that's not in balance. It's even the sword you would use to sever a relationship. Ah, maybe this is what's out of balance here. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy of holding on tightly to something and not wanting to let go of it. This is almost screaming, look, something not right is happening, that something needs to be cut away, but yeah, but I don't want to cut it away. I don't I don't want to be single and if even though I am single maybe there has been a severing between the two of you already and there's this energy of not wanting to hold on and not wanting to let go of it that could be part of the internal conflict related to this abandonment breakup type of an energy here could be a piece of you that knows something un, unfair and unjust is going on that needs corrected but at the same time I don't want to do the it's like I don't want to dish out the punishment for that almost. When I clarify this Nine of Pentacles singles energy for you, I get the Seven of Wands, the World, the Lovers, Eight of Cups, Queen of Wands. Seven of Wands is Leo energy. This is a card of being defensive about something it's like defending their pos defending your position on something defending your stance on something sometimes these wands represent external energy coming at you and you're fighting that off that this can represent you wanting to fight for what it is that you believe in fight for what you desire fight for what you think is right there's some element that has you physically not together here and it looks like you wanting to fight for it. I'm, I'm not sure what this unfair severing is about. It 
something has happened that looks like you guys aren't physically together. I have the world next, getting ahead of myself, but the world is also your central energy, and we'll clarify that next. This is the final card of the Major Arcana. It's the ending of one cycle and at the same time the beginning of a new cycle. This card can represent travel over great distances. I do have the Eight of Wands here in the overall energy. It can also represent travel. When I was clarifying the shared energy, I had three different nights, which all of which can represent travel in some way. There could be some like physical geographic distance between the two of you and something unfair about that and you're not wanting to let go but this is the ending of something and at the same time the beginning of something else and i don't know if this is you fighting against the ending or if this is you fighting to get a new beginning yet i'm not sure yet the lovers is next for you this is gemini's major arcana card this is a powerful love connection between the two of you. This card, before it was called the Lovers, used to be called the Choice. So a lot of times it can represent a choice in a powerful connection like this, or even a choice between two lovers. A lot of times this card for people represents like this person is the one for me. Which... You know, just because that's showing up here, that's not like, you know, God or the universe is beaming down the message. Yep, I'm verifying that this is the one for them. That's not what it means when you get that kind of a, a message in a tarot reading. That means I'm reading your energy and this is showing up in your energy that way, which means this is what you believe about the connection. This is like the ending of the connection, but at the same time, the beginning of the connection, which is... Or maybe fighting to get a new beginning to it. I'm not 100% sure on that. This is a little confusing here. Eight of Cups is next. Pisces energy of emotionally detaching, physically detaching and walking away. This person's walking away from eight full cups of love. And they're doing that maybe because they think the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. And they got to go find out. Is it greener on the other side of the fence? They're like they're leaving behind eight cups of love to go off down a new path toward their ninth and their tenth cup, their own personal happiness and wish fulfillment, which we saw in the story on the bottom of the deck in the shared energy. Like they're looking for their their happily ever after. This could be an energy of you being single and how unfair this is, and it's like uh, physically by yourself. In one person putting in all the work and then there's this flip floppy type energy maybe that's got you torn about whether or not to fight for this and whether or not there is a new beginning or should be or can be maybe this is you emotionally detaching and walking away from it and going down a different path queen of wands is next this is usually leo or aries energy this is a bold passionate fiery determined person that knows exactly what she wants and she goes after what she wants she doesn't take no for an answer <laughs> this is this is like really about knowing what you want but this is about like either wanting two different usually like wanting two different things and i'm like i'm torn now central to your energy capricorn is the world we've already seen that it's the ending of one cycle and at the same time the beginning of the next cycle like i said it can indicate travel that's right beside a single energy for you tell me more about the world please why is the world i guess travel or geographic distance either one is what it could mean mm. Again, the card came out reversed, and this one's yelling at me, so I'm going to leave it reversed. I think I, those two also came out reversed for you, and if I'm looking at that Nine of Pentacles as if it's in reverse, that would be like I'm single and I don't want to be single, which is probably why there's this fighting for it. Like, Not necessarily single, like you don't have a, a person in your life, but like physically single from them physically not together with them and i want to fight to get that ended in a new beginning of this this loving connection here but then there's this element that's throwing me off of like emotionally detaching from what it is that you want 
Anyway, when I clarify the world on the bottom of the deck, we get the Knight of Swords. We've already seen this. Very fast forward moving energy, like rushing forward, speaking the truth. Usually it's rushing forward and taking some rapid, decisive action that wasn't thought through first. And it's not thought through until after the action's already taken. This is usually like spur of the moment, spontaneous kind of an energy. Maybe that's what ended something here between the two of you. Nine of Cups. Again, there's that Pisces energy of personal happiness, personal wish fulfillment. Hmm. And judgment. This is a, a powerful final decision. This is like passing your own final verdict and judgment on something here, which should be either calling it dead and over with between the two of you, or it would be resurrecting it and bringing it back from the grave, like bringing it back to life and transforming it so it's never the same again. This looks like someone made a decision really, really abruptly about what they wanted for like for themselves personally and they passed a judgment themselves that could be your person was gung-ho about something with you and then pulled back like crazy and just decided nope not doing that maybe that involved like physically distancing from you in some kind of way here with the world twice again another card that could indicate travel or movement the knight of wands strength nine of pentacles in reverse knight of wands we have that out here in the shared energy that's that wishy-washy bullshit back and forth can't stay fully committed to what i say i want kind of an energy again overall energy internal conflict about what it is that i want this and like break up and, and again very fast very like eight of wands very fast like again could be distance and travel there got fire energy a lot here yeah a lot ah it's like in a sense it's almost like part of the external energy you're fighting off capricorn it's this wishy-washiness here this changing my mind or saying i want something and then backpedaling off of that next card we have is leo energy strength this card tells me you're going through a very difficult situation it's requiring all of your internal strength to make it through this you have the internal strength to make it through it you're just being forced to dig down deep inside yourself and like summon that up and put it to use this can sometimes represent a person who's trying to tame that beast inside themselves, though. They have this desire for something. It's like almost this primal urge for something. And they're worried that might be a mistake. So I'm like trying to rein that piece of myself in. I'm trying to hold that piece of myself back and like not let the bull loose in the china shop here. So this could be like struggling against a piece of yourself here which would be related to the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. It could just be that you're having a difficult time with that concept of something coming to an end between the two of you and something new starting. Oh, man, it could be that you're having some second thoughts about whether or not you want to commit this, whether or not you actually desire this, whether you want to be committed to this or... Put your time effort and energy into it as well you could you could be starting to have those thoughts which could explain what this eight of cups is about here like you know what you want but you're emotionally detaching and distancing yourself from that almost like just in case it doesn't happen this is the very very peculiar year nine of pentacles in reverse again virgo energy single energy it's upside down it's like this is like i'm i'm resisting being physically single here i don't want to be physically single here i'm having a very difficult time with dealing with being physically not with my person here the lovers is right beside that upside down single energy Final card in your energy here at the end of January 2024, Capricorn, Queen of Cups. This is Cancer energy. This would mean you have a lot of love and emotions for your person. 
you want to give your love and emotions to your person. It also means you're very intuitive. You're in touch with your feelings. You're in touch with your intuition. This is a this is a lot of love. Like in a normal like standard tarot deck like this one, the Queen of Cups has a lid on top of her cup. She's the only character that does. A lot of my other decks, there's either a lid on the cup or she has her hand physically on top of the cup. And she's doing that to protect her emotions. She doesn't want anything getting in her emotions, contaminating her emotions. She doesn't want the emotional pain. This queen does not have the lid on the cup. She doesn't have her hand on the cup. It's, it's like something has happened that's not awesome between the two of you but it's almost like there's a piece of you that's not afraid of the emotional hurt because you love them so much there's a piece of you that really really wants to be with them but i'm still a little hung up on this emotional detaching it could just be physically detaching even though you want them really bad this could be almost a, a situation where there is a pc like there's a piece of you that's not afraid of them and of getting hurt by them emotionally and there's a piece of you that is probably afraid to believe that i'm going to get what i want here because what if i don't then it's going to be even more painful very complex set of feelings i'm having over here why is the queen of cups here for capricorn please let's get three cards to clarify the queen of cups come here I gotta get something to drink one moment. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. Again, Sword of Victory, Sword of Truth, Sword of Clarity. It's the sword you would use to cut away something that's not in balance, the sword you would use to sever a connection, cut away someone or something that's not in your best interest. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This is walled off in defensive energy. This is like, this is the wounded warrior. It's it's a card of healing. He's been hurt and he builds this wall around himself as a way to protect himself so he doesn't get hurt anymore. So he doesn't continue to get hurt. He He's trying to prevent from getting hurt so he can heal, so he can move forward and take the next step in his journey. This could be saying you still love them even though they kind of cut you with what happened and you're still hurt and your defenses are still up. This could also be that there is a barrier between the two of you in some like metaphorical sense. Like there's something in the way between the two of you. And this could be another reference to what we saw with justice earlier where that thing that's out of balance, that barrier that's in the way that needs cut away. This is the sword to do that with. And it could just be that the, the barrier that's in the way is this Two of Swords, which is Libra energy. Twos are choices, they're decisions. This is a decision that needs to be made, only it hasn't been made. Sometimes it's because there's not enough information, like there's a blindfold on the person. They can't see what they're doing, so they can't decide. Sometimes that blindfold represents someone has blinders on, and there's just something that they don't want to be the truth, something that they don't want to see, so they're staying blindfolded on purpose and choosing not to look at something which prevents them from being able to make a decision this could also represent that the decision is not being made because it's not your decision it's your person's decision about how to cut this barrier down like i know here we have two swords to choose between and here's one sword that's the word decision like the latin word decision comes from literally means to cut off as in, I got two things to choose from. I'm cutting one off, and now I have one choice is made. That to you, it feels like it's that simple. Like, your heart tells you that all we have to do is just remove that barrier, and then the choice is made. And then there's marriage and commitment behind that. The Hierophant is Taurus Major Arcana Energy. This is a marriage card. It's being in a committed relationship, taking that to the next level, being fully committed, being engaged, married, something like that. When I clarify this Queen of Cups, I get the Devil, the Hanged Man, 
and the Eight of Pentacles. The Devil is your major arcana card, Capricorn. This is usually heavy toxic energy. I know, it sucks that you guys got stuck with the Devil as your major arcana card. And meanwhile, us Leos, we got strength in the sun. I know, not fair, but I didn't make the damn tarot deck. I just read them to you. I had somebody flame me one time about that. Like, chastised me for calling this a Capricorn card, even though it legitimately is. But this is, like, usually heavy toxic energy. This is usually, like, obsession with something or an addiction or a feeling of being trapped by something. Like, feeling like... I can't escape from something. Something has control of me, whether that's a, a piece of your shadow, like something inside yourself has control of you in some way, or maybe you're feeling stuck to this relationship. You're feeling like the pull of this relationship. Like notice the people have chains around their neck. They can't actually go anywhere. They can't escape this. And sometimes this can just represent a really heavy duty amount of like sexual attraction as well i do have queen of wands in your energy a wand as the overall energy i got three wands in the shared energy and knight of wands here twice getting ahead of myself king of wands is your person's first card their most important one definitely a lot of passion like desire attraction sexual energy here could be that next we have the hanged man which is pisces energy of progress being halted no forward movement is happening things are stuck they're at a dead standstill the hanged man hangs upside down though because he's trying to look at things from a different perspective than he normally would a different point of view he's trying to figure out why is this stuck and how do i get it unstuck so that i can move forward here and having a difficult time with being stuck having a difficult time with either the ending of the cycle that happened between the two of you or the beginning of the next cycle for you. Eight of Pentacles is the last clarifier for that Queen of Cups. Again, we've already seen this in the shared energy out here. This is Virgo energy of work, putting in the work, putting in the time, effort, and energy to get what it is that you want, or at the very least, you being willing to put in the work on it. <clears throat> this is really feeling like everything is stopped either related to work as in I don't know if you have some sort of like nine of pentacles in reverse this would be like abundance and like receiving the rewards of the work that you've put in and it's upside down I don't know if you're having some kind of financial problem at this point now and do you see one person working by themselves to build something could be something along those lines like you could be stuck work-wise you could be stuck financially right now this could be you wanting to get unstuck and being willing to put in whatever works necessary to get unstuck this is like wanting to work on this idea of being physically not together wanting to put the work in on that put the work in on this love connection here there's two cards that don't have anything in the row with it here. It's this Eight of Cups and Queen of Wands, this emotionally detaching and physically walking away. And this knowing what you want and going to get what you want type of an energy. And again, back to that internal conflict. It could be that those are the two things you're torn between right there. Like, piece of you is like, enough's enough and another piece of you is like oh but i want them that's your energy in this connection here at the end of january let's scoot this over and get some more room take a look at your person's energy most important card for them king of wands central to their energy the star final card for them the wheel of fortune that's looking pretty good king of wands either leo or sagittarius energy this is a bold, passionate, fiery, determined person that knows what he wants. He goes after it. He don't take no for an answer. He does not let obstacles and roadblocks and challenges and excuses get in his way. This is a driven, motivated, ambitious type of a person that is going to get what he wants. He's either going to find a way to get it or he's going to make a way to get what he wants. It is the pinnacle of the wand suit. And the wand is the phallic symbol of the deck, so it represents the male phallus, using it to be intimate, sexual energy, sex. 
I see a lot of wands, a lot of fire energy out here. <clears throat> He's the pinnacle of that suit. So it's somebody who's also driven and motivated by that kind of stuff, sexual energy and such. Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is that the first card Capricorn's person? Thank you. Oh, they're playing fair. They're just giving me the three that I need. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups. Pisces energy. Again, this is personal happiness and wish fulfillment. This is a person who does not require an external person to get their emotional happiness. They don't need someone else to make them feel whole or to make them feel loved or worthy of love or happy. Like They understand that they control their own emotions and their happiness comes from inside themselves. It is a step backwards from the Ten of Cups, which is everybody's goal in love and relationships. Well, I guess I should go ahead and stop with that because the Ten of Cups is right here in the clarifiers. But there's some element of their own personal happiness in them being emotionally single. And then I have the Three of Wands, which is an energy, it's Aries energy of waiting on something. This is being at the beginning stages of manifesting something that they want. And here at this stage, they've already decided what they want. They've already made that choice and they've started taking steps down the path that they believe leads to what they want. And they have this positive expect expectancy that the thing they want is going to happen. It just hasn't happened yet. It hasn't fully materialized yet. And they're still kind of waiting on that to appear. They're, they want personal happiness. They, they know what their wish fulfillment is. They're taking steps on it. Page of Pentacles. This is news and messages and communications about some practical, tangible opportunity presenting itself. A lot of times this would be like planning for the future. It's a page, again, the lowest of the core cards. So this would be like not a fully developed plan, like early stages of a plan, early stages of manifesting what they want. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. They might be trying to plan how to get to you. The Three of Wands can also indicate travel. I... It, it's feeling like there is physical distance between the two of you, like not in the same location here. This is an energy of balance, but it's like trying to maintain their balance, trying to get their balance back once it's been thrown off. It's like their emotions are rough and choppy in the background. This is them like weighing options on something, like looking at the pros and cons and like asking like, do I or don't I, should I or shouldn't I, do I take this one or that one? Like, not being fully sure what to do. Knight of Swords again in the lurking in the background. There's that spontaneous, like abrupt, impulsive kind of an energy here. Like taking actions before I think about it. Oh, yeah, I, that's probably it. There's that Queen of Cups that's in your energy out here. They have a lot of love and emotions for you. And see here, you, you have the lid on your cup. You're guarded here. Ten of Pentacles. There's that combined together. This is this is like living together, being married, building a life together, like physically combining together. Ah, this is what they want. And this at the same time is the thing that's thrown off balance by this spontaneous decision, this spontaneous like action. Like, he's even facing the past on the card. So it's almost like, this is looking like a spot where you had it, and then they went back to the past for some reason. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's like, I, I'm getting that strong, like, mm, had it, and now, oh wait, I'm going back to where it was before. When I clarify this King of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups... King of Swords. Ace of Pentacles is that physical, tangible opportunity that we were talking about here with this Page of Pentacles, having a plan for something, an early plan for something. This is the opportunity. That's the seed of abundance. It, this is the seed that has the potential to grow into the Ten of Pentacles that we also saw, that combined togetherness. It's not that in and of itself. It's an opportunity for it. And like any opportunity, they have to grab this and do something with it or it's just empty potential. But the potential is there. 
and they have the willingness to take the first step and there's the there's the potential being carried it's just not fast it's it's very slow this is almost like it was slow to manifest what you wanted with them and then it's like you got a taste of it and then there's this whole backpedaling go the other direction go back to the where it was kind of an energy here and then there's like not the physical teamwork and building together there's by myself building together that's affecting both of you so you're both by yourself you've got both of the nine of pentacles in your energy the both physically by myself energy here they know what they want they have an opportunity presenting itself to get what they want to get their wish fulfillment this ten of cups this is like the combined together version of this this is like we're both together we're both fully in love we're both completely happy we're pouring ourselves into each other and we've overflowed the cups and now we've got the whole thing this is like most people's goal in love and relationships it's the happily ever after it's the happy fairy tale romance that we all want king of swords so i've got two different versions of your person's energy here this is who they are and about what they want and what they're driven for and what they desire and this is logic and reason this is a person who is like they're not really interested in the story or how anyone feels they're looking strictly at the truth and the facts of the matter they're being very logical and rational and like calculated this is like show me the facts show me the numbers and then i'll believe you this can sometimes feel like a person who's cold and calculated because they like they don't they don't consult their emotions when they're making decisions that feels an awful lot like that knight of swords energy we've seen a couple of times this is a person who didn't even bother thinking about it this is a person who thinks about it all oh, they they think it all the way through but I think they toss their emotions out the window. I've seen you represented as Queen of Cups twice. And this is almost like the counterbalance to that King of Cups counterpart there. This is like, mm, this is just logic and reason only. That's a piece of your person. I think that might be a piece of their internal conflict. Because their desire pulls them in one direction. And then common sense and logic and reason pulls them in a different direction at times. That could be why you see what appears to be like wishy-washy energy from them central to your person's energy is the star this is the aquarius major arcana card this is happiness and wish fulfillment as well this is like sometimes this can represent that this person feels like you're the one from them you're the one for them like they're feeling like called to you this is also a card of hope and healing. It's the card that comes immediately after the tower in the sequence of the Major Arcana. So you don't make it here without going through a tower of some kind first. And the tower is like something important in their life comes crashing down all around them. And nothing is the same as it was the day before that. It's like a foundation rocking event, like a game changer. And when something important collapses, it's really hard to see what, what to do moving forward from there. And that's where the star comes in. This is the guiding light from the universe that lights the way for them so that they can see the path moving forward. This is where hope comes from. It's where healing comes from. So this would indicate that either A, they, they want you and believe you are the one for them, or B, they want an opportunity to get together with you. And maybe this is them like figuring out how to do that, but it's like logically how to do that which could be a reason why things are moving slow this is probably the hope of them being able to heal this with you because something clearly went wrong why is the star central to capricorn person's energy at the end of january 2024 please i have one in here flipped nope get one more thank you bottom of the deck three of pentacles capricorn energy 
Teamwork, collaboration, working together is equals. We saw that in the center of the shared energy affecting you both. But see what I mean? There is actual physical teamwork and working together is equals happening here where before there wasn't. So something has changed on your person's side. Something changed. This is like... This is feeling like they they changed their mind and went back to the way it was, whatever that means. And then being by themselves like almost gets them to the point where they want to work on it and have the willingness. And they're taking very slow, methodical steps to get the thing that they want. It's almost like this is them changing their mind at the beginning. And then after they change their mind, this is them changing their mind again, which is like I'm... I'm, I'm torn about this breakup thing. It's almost like I, I acted too quickly on that. I got overwhelmed with something. I'm, I'm hoping that we can work together as equals here. That's my wish fulfillment. That's, that's what would make me happy. There's that Knight of Swords again. That very fast action. This is almost like it, it was it was poorly thought out is what this feels like. This is almost like them saying, look, I fucked up. This was this was stupid and too fast, and I, sh I shouldn't have done that. When I clarify the star, I get the Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Six, Six, Five. So we got very slow backwardsness happening here. Six of Wands is Leo energy. This is a card of recognition. This is either them being recognized for something or... Pretty commonly, them coming to some kind of a recognition themselves, either about themselves or about this decision that they made or about this relationship. Whatever they're recognizing allows forward movement to happen. That's directly tied to this physical opportunity that presents itself. It's directly tied to this idea of hope and healing and recognizing even that you're the one for me. Next, I have the Six of Pentacles, which is Taurus energy. This is a card of balance. This is generosity. It's reciprocity. Like, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. You take care of me, I take care of you. This is like equal give and take balance. It's right beside Ten of Cups. Like, the happily ever after type of a, a relationship. But they're recognizing that this is balanced and this is what they want. And then there's this five of wands left hanging over that again leo energy of internal conflict like a piece of them wants one thing and another piece of them wants something different than that and they're internally conflicted about what they want and the piece that it's tied to the piece of them that wants something different is the king of swords logical rational decision making type of a mind here it's like this this is like they want it really, really bad, but there's something that's like logically not right in terms of the way they're perceiving it anyway. Final card for them, Wheel of Fortune. This is the Wheel of Fate. It's the Wheel of Destiny. So this can represent a fated event. This represents like what's supposed to happen is going to happen and there's not really a damn thing you or anybody else can do about it. It can represent divine timing in the sense of like what is supposed to happen is going to happen and it's going to happen when it's supposed to happen and not a minute sooner or later. This is like, this is fate. This is not being in control but something happening that's bigger here. I've got two cards in a row that could be like, the one for me, what's supposed to happen, like both of these would be something higher than myself, bigger than me, greater than me. This can represent a change in the luck and fortune. If things go great and then you get the wheel of fortune, that's that wheel spinning the other way and things go to hell in a handbasket. If things are already bad, which it looked like something bad has happened, this can be the wheel spinning the other way and like riding the ship, so to speak, and things can turn around and go back to being good again hopefully tell me about this wheel of fortune please why is that the final card for capricorn's person i had a real problem getting your energy to come out 
at the beginning because it's like so much of it it was just trying to like burst out everywhere and like this is the first time in a while i've done a reading where somebody cooperated and i got three cards each time i clarified so that's like they seem clear on what they want this internal conflict is totally related to their mind here bottom of the deck when i clarify wheel of fortune nine of wands sagittarius energy this again is the wounded warrior it's a it's a card of being walled off and defensive it's a card of healing we just clarified the most powerful card of healing the star this is a card also that can represent that there is a barrier in their way here now sometimes like this will represent like a defense mechanism like we, we've all been hurt we all have ways to like emotionally and psychologically protect ourselves when we're hurt like our walls come up our defense mechanisms get tripped off but notice that the wall this person builds is just sticks in the ground like seriously like if i wanted to get in there and hurt him those sticks aren't going to save him i could just run into them and knock them down or i could turn sideways and probably fit between them so like the wall he builds is like this safety thing doesn't really keep him safe it's like a security blanket it's like a false sense of safety and security when really what it is more than that is just a fence it's like a, a wall that keeps him from getting the thing he desires here there's definitely a barrier in the way between the two of you and i think it is turning around because there's the ace of swords again like the decision like the the severing of the thing that's not serving anymore that's not in their best interests anymore it's like cutting that away and doing it very quickly there's that eight of wands again sagittarius energy very fast forward movement very fast progress can indicate travel can indicate a lot of back and forth passionate communicating here can also indicate that there's just a lot happening all at once and it's really overwhelming here now when i clarify this wheel of fortune i get the sun the king of pentacles and the four of swords the sun is the leo major arcana card we already saw that it's actually the center card in your energy the other leo major arcana i should say strength I've got quite a bit of Leo out here. You could be dealing with the Leo. See, there's more fixed sign energy. Leo, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo. Four fixed signs again. All right, a little bit of Cancer, Capricorn, Pisces, Virgo. You could be dealing with any of those signs. There is a little bit of Sagittarius I've seen. A little bit of Pisces. You, you could be dealing with literally any sign going to be almost impossible to pin it down in a collective reading like this but this is leo major arcana energy this is the happiest card in the deck it's happiness joy bliss harmony like you really can't get a better card than the sun in a love reading so this is like the wheel spinning the other way and turning things around happiness is here it's right beside another leo energy of like recognition and forward movement forward movement toward happiness and there is an opportunity here it's like there's a and and the opportunity is being handed to a person who is very driven and motivated and determined by nature but like this is not someone who usually would waste opportunities it doesn't look like just that one problematic little king of swords piece down here the next clarifier for wheel of fortune is king of pentacles this is taurus or virgo energy this is usually like husband figure or father figure or this could be someone who is like a business owner or an independent contractor or a freelancer someone who works for themselves like is running a business or good at building something physically building empires something along those lines this would usually be like provider type energy husband type energy and then there's this idea of generosity and equal give and take and the ten of cups tied to that like this is them wanting to be half of the equation here <clears throat> And at the beginning, like, this is supposed to be the two of you working together to build the Ten of Pentacles. And there's only one person doing it. Now I've seen that Three of Pentacles show up in their energy. And I've seen the other half of the equation. I'm, I'm here now. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do this now. 
And then there's the Four of Swords last, which is Libra energy. Fours are about stability. Swords are about the thoughts, the mind. So this is stability of the mind, stabilizing the thoughts, like calming the mind down so that they can hear the guidance, hear the messages, hear what their heart's telling them. See, that's part of the the internal conflict. They want this really, really bad. They have all this love and emotions for you, but logic and reasoning and common sense gets in their way at some point. All the conscious mind thoughts, and this is like them calming that down and figuring out what to do to move forward from here to get to this to turn this all around to get to the happiness and you know be in the other half of the love equation with you now if you still have questions you want answered about this situation or your relationship then click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now and when you do you'll be taken to more capricorn love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation and i'll see you in the next video